Those words may very well come back to give her a radioactive bite. As of the time of writing and recording this video and 115 critic reviews, the critics have rated it 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. Dakota Johnson has admitted that she was initially apprehensive about signing on to Madame Web since she never thought that she could ever be part of the superhero world. She revealed that reading Clarkson's script changed her mind about the project. I love the idea of a superhero being a young woman whose mind was extremely powerful. And I liked the dynamic between her and these three young women, how they genuinely protect and support and care for each other. The film just seemed different to me, and it was way more grounded and real and gritty. I just thought it was an interesting way to experience that world. Johnson also opened up about her experience shooting in front of blue screens for the first time, sharing that it was definitely something out of her comfort zone. I've never really done a movie where you were on a blue screen, and there's fake explosions going off and someone's going, explosion, and you act like there's an explosion. That, to me, was absolutely psychotic. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be good at all. I hope that I did an okay job. But I trusted the director, she worked so hard, and she has not taken her eyes off this movie since we started. The film seems to be a culmination of poor decisions. Director S.J. Clarkson spoke about including Uncle Ben and Mother Mary Parker in this version being played by Adam Scott and Emma Roberts. I think, again, Madam Web was born in the Amazing Spider-Man comics. You know what I mean? There isn't a Madam Web comic yet, although I think there probably should be. There should be, right? I think we should. Let's start petitioning for a Madam Web comic. I think that would be amazing, but you know, I think it's an homage and a nod of respect to where she comes from. It's great to see such a positive attitude from the creator behind this film, and I hope I end up being wrong, but it's looking like an uphill climb for Madame Web. This seems like another failed Marvel film out of Sony.